This is my last message addressed to the people of South Africa. To my dear wife and family, I will say goodbye in a different way. Our country faces so many challenges of a serious nature. I hold firm opinions about all of them, but decided to keep this message very short and only really focus on two issues, touching me and touching the country. Before I do so, I would like to thank all my friends and supporters for the wonderful support and encouragement they gave me throughout my life and throughout my political career. Many of them were close to me, even for decades. Others intervened occasionally. I thank you for your support and your trust in me. I thank you for your friendship. Thank you for having carried me on your shoulders for so many years. The first issue I want to focus on is apartheid and apartheid and me. I'm still often accused by critics that I in some way or another continue to justify apartheid or separate development as we later prefer to call it. It is true that in my younger years, I defended separate development as I never liked the word apartheid. I did so when I was a member of parliament and I did so as I became a member of cabinet. Afterwards, on many occasions, I apologized for the pain and the indignity that apartheid has brought to persons, to persons of color in South Africa. Many believed me, but others didn't. Therefore, let me today, in this last message, repeat. I, without qualification, apologize for the pain and the hurt and the indignity and the damage that apartheid has done to black, brown and Indians in South Africa. I do so 